What is going on guys, Grave here. Today we're going to have another weapon review for Battlefield 1 and we're going to look at the BAR 1918 Storm. I did try to upload this video a few days back, but either the rendering process before YouTube or when I uploaded to YouTube, something went wrong, so I took it down and just redid the entire thing to make sure that it was just right. But uh, this is a really, really good gun, guys. It was one of my favorites to use before uh, the LMG patch uh, with all the big, you know, patch and, and with the fall update. And this is still a very, very good gun. And with that extra suppression and extra mid-range damage, it's even better, I think. But I also would like to thank all you guys out there that have been subscribing since Battlefield 1 has come out. We've hit up to 1,000 subscribers. So I appreciate each and every one of you that has subscribed. Uh, it means a lot. And I, I really enjoy that you guys enjoy watching the content. We'll get into stats for this weapon, and you're looking at a 21 max damage and a minimum damage of 19. It's not a huge damaged LMG, but it's not an LMG that drops off a lot either. So, you know, you're always going to be dealing really moderate damage, but not bad damage. 21 max to a minimum of 19 is not bad at all, so you don't have to be worrying about a lot of drop off at range. You're looking at a fire rate of 600 rounds a minute which I think is a good fire rate for this weapon It's a slower or more mid uh, range consistent fire rate it kills well I think if the weapon fired any faster it would be a little bit harder to handle because it does have a little bit of odd recoil um, magazine size is a one downfall of this weapon of course that magazine size is 20 even with the update, I still feel that you only can get one to two kills and most likely one kill out of a mag. And that's how it was before the update. You have to reload this weapon a lot. It's a gun that I suggest you push with your teammates because if you get into a large group of people, you're going to get in serious trouble if you're going up against three and four folks because you're not going to be able to uh, beat them because you're going to have to reload a lot. You're going to be swapping to your pistol. So always attack with a group with this gun. Muzzle velocity is 820 meters per second. This is a good weapon to hit targets moving at a range. Uh, it is very good at it, actually. And it, it, the only thing is, the downfall again to that is the uh, amount of ammo that you have in a clip or in your magazine being 20. So you're not able to pick off too many people running at a distance, but you can do it. Uh, reload from completely empty is 3.2 seconds. And reload from ammo left in the clip is 2.9 seconds. Recoil, you're looking at 0.2 8 up and left and right recoil is 0 0.182 this weapon almost has a circular motion guys it has a lot of side to side wobble more side to side recoil than vertical it will pull up if you just hold it down but it is going to be a more of a circular motion it's not going to be like we've talked about before just pretty much an upside down triangle kind of of pattern it's going to go more side to side so almost like an egg shape when you're looking at the recoil pattern um Damage over distance from point blank out to around 20 meters, you're going to deal that 21 damage. When you get to 25 meters, guys, where you're going to start that 19 damage. So like I said, you're always going to have pretty good damage at all ranges with this weapon. Bullets to kill from point blank out to 22 meters is a 5-bullet kill. From 23 meters on out, as far as you can shoot, is going to be a 6-bullet kill. Guys, it's a really, really good gun. Like I said, I've enjoyed it from the start of the game. And I still enjoy it today. It's just a weapon that you have to play smart with because you do have to reload a lot. But it's a lot of fun to use. And it looks really, really cool, especially if you get some nice camos on it. But it's a lot of fun to use, guys. Check out the AA sights if you do not like the base iron sights on, on this weapon. I prefer the AA sights on all the LMGs. But it's a weapon I highly suggest if you have not tried it. Even if they had not buffed the LMGs, I would still tell you to try this weapon because it's really that good. It's, some people don't enjoy it. But a lot of people do, and that's why I would say definitely give it a try because it's one of my favorite LMGs to use to run and gun with, and that's really what it's made for. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the bar. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.